Well, hello. It's time once again for Suno to have dropped overnight, from my perspective, uh, new features. And when you come into their front page, you can see they're advertising them quite heavily. We've got the three main ones. So you'll see there's the uh, stem extraction. Uh, if you're not sure of this, you'll see, actually, let's watch this uh, very quickly. So when you create a song, uh, on this and some other scenarios, you can drop out uh, everything, including the backing vocals, drums, all of those different areas, and then take them away to another system where you can go mix them. This is something where we could only do the voice and music, uh, and everybody that I've seen has been asking for the wider range of extraction. And as you can see here, we now have it. And as it says, we can extract sound, split your tracks into 12 clean stems vocals drums bass and more so we'll have a look at that when i go into the demo the next one is the song editor now this um has had this visual view that we're seeing here uh show up recently in the editor but as you can see um we can now reorder rewrite um remake track section by section so uh, we'll also go in and have a look at that. Um, that's going to be really interesting. And I think uh, I'm really going to love that because that's where sometimes I just want to put in some extra oomph but not lose the whole song. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how it creates that and what happens in the seams between those areas. And finally, uh, the extended uploads. So we were limited, I believe, to a minute. I may be wrong about that. Uh, but obviously, doesn't matter now, we've got extended uploads uh, up to eight minutes. So if you're creating your own music or working on any old music you've recorded, I'm going to take an old song that I've been working on and upload that. So let's uh, start with that. Let's go to create and we'll see... So if we go to create, we'll see here... Uh, there's a small redesign in the UI, so uh, the audio and persona, I think were previously down the bottom. We've also got these new advanced options, uh, and I very much like <laughs> weirdness and style influence. Um, so you'll see they're both set uh, at 50%, uh, and I think we probably all know how percentages work, so let me not go into too much detail to explain that. Uh, and you'll see there we've nicely got the return to normal as part of that feature. So let me go in and uh, I'm not going to record it. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm not a singer. Um, so I'm going to upload uh, the song I've been working on. And you'll see here it can take the whole song, uh, which it previously couldn't. I'm not sure on me. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Uh, and you'll see as we come in here, it shows us uploading the clip and uh, gives us some options of what we can do. So we can cover the audio in any song style, make your audio longer, uh, and use the audio for later. So we'll just let that upload. Well, I know my favorite option here will be to cover it, so I'm going to click on that. And, oh, you know what? Let's save it to the library and continue. And here we go. That's uploaded. So, how do we get into these new areas? Well, as you can see, it uh, points us there directly. All detected stems or just the vocals and instrumental. So the vocals and instrumental was what we had previously. Let's take a look at all of them. Now, when you go into here, it's going to pop up. And when you extract the stems, uh, you get a maximum of 12 separated uh, vocals and instruments. Uh, it is slightly more expensive than just generating a song. And you'll see in the background, what we've got is a new song editor. Uh, up here, you can see there is actually the legacy editor still available. And when you extract the stems, it creates two versions. I'm not 100% sure what's the difference between the two versions. I'm sure we'll work that out over time. But you'll see the options we've got on the screen is creating it, 
regenerating it, obviously, if you didn't like what happened the first time. Um, you can download them all at once, or you can download them individually. So you'll see when you extract the stems, uh, you get a couple of options in here. You get multiple versions. And in this case, it's broken down into the vocals, um, the instruments, and other. Same over here. You can regenerate that. It's an additional 50 credits, and you can download all. There is the option here to download in um, a WAV format, which is the larger files. If you hit play here... I'm not sure I'll make another Sunday. You can select These just days that individual scene, or you weak. can turn it off and mute that one. I feel I got a fight of man, taking the pressure off the whole world. So, <clears throat> that's a range of so that's a range of options on those. What I'm going to do is um, I will download all of those just uh, to show what happens here. And you see, it does say it's taking a while to do that. If we close this out, we can have a look at what's in the new editor. So first things first, we can see that there is the option to extend here. Uh, and this is where you can come in and select where you want to add from and to. And you'll see that's extending for an extra 10 credits. There's more uh, options here, so we can duplicate, we can copy, and we can delete, and we can crop. So uh, if we want to come in here, you'll see we have new lyrics or melodies by picking a selection. So if we come into this bit here and just grab that bit, you'll see on the right-hand side it's just selected this bit over here. In fact, there is actually something in the song uh, I want to adjust. So you'll see uh, this is actually meant to be divided. So when we select that, you'll see we can go and replace selection. Ah, and you'll see here, if we start typing, now I brought that up by uh, just starting to type. And you'll see it's given me an area where it's going to put those um, lyrics, and we can fix the alignment. And if we come in here, we can replace that section. Okay, so I'll do that. And you'll see when we're replacing it, we get this new UI that uh, makes it very pretty while you're waiting for it to load. So I'll just have a play of this. I feel like a divided man, taking the pressure of the whole world, knowing the form. I feel like a divided man, taking the pressure of the whole world. Knowing the fault is entirely mine. So I'm just going to close that because I don't want to actually add that at the moment. And you'll see we can come down here uh, and reload lyrics. That's interesting. We can change the clip color. I'm not actually sure why those are useful, but uh, let's come back to here. The other thing you can see is you've got a folder that lists the edits you've done. Yeah, there we go. So if we come back into here, I can reset all and go back to where I started. And what I'm going to do is go down here and you'll see there's reset zoom. So that'll show me the whole song. Now, <clears throat> this is shorter than I was hoping it would be. We get some visuals of what's going on here. So we've got to fade into the song. Uh, we've got to fade out. So we can see how long that's taken from. We can come in and change the lyrics, but we can also go in and add a new section. So that's where we slot in between. And you'll see we can uh, click on here 
and the plus, and this gives us a new area to work in. Now with that, we can um, copy, duplicate, delete, but we can also come in here and add lyrics. <clears throat> so this is where uh, we uh, just adding lyrics to this bit and I can generate that. And once again, that's another 10 credits. There's also other options that are coming on in here with little explanation. We can create um, the beats uh, and there is an option down here where you can use the original beats per minute or a custom beats per minute option, which you can control. And you can toggle a metronome. If you're working inside your environment, you'll see we get the option to select the workspace that we're working in. So I'm working in my workspace at the moment, but you can make one for the song and manage all your environments in there. Ah, it looks like one of our previews might be up for testing. Interestingly, that added a number of words that I didn't put in there, so we um, should be aware that that might make um, some interesting options. Let's see what's happened here. So we'll go. We are adding lyrics to colors. Shall we fall it on another nice? Now I don't want to commit to either of those, so once again we can reset all. So we've gone through uh, changing the lyrics or melodies, adding a new section, extending your song. If you haven't done that before, um, you can just select an area and what it will do is start extending from that point there. Uh, I'm not going to do that with this, you know what, I will because uh, we're trainers video so you'll see it'll replace that section of the song and we've got down in a window here if you want to get right down to the time codes that you're working from what we're replacing and where we're replacing to Interesting, I haven't seen this UI feature uh, until this time, not sure if it's been there before, but it's nice that when you come into the editor it folds in so you've got some more space in your UI. So we've got an issue generating that, so we're going to have to come back to that one. Um, next is rearranging the song, so we can come and if you come into this clip you'll see you get this bar at the top here. Um, you can actually change the segment that that works on and you can pick that up and move that to another location. So you'll see there's your window you want to work with or adjust that and you can move around the you can move around the components of the song. It's not what I want to do with this song but it is interesting. Um, you do get that selection criteria to be able to edit. Uh, and that's where you want to know your controls. I think we have a minimum space we can work in here. So you might want to be aware of that. Um, and once we've done that, it will be interesting. So if we rearrange the song, well, we can right click and create a split in the song. And then I think we would have to do replace to generate that song again. Oh, here we go. Save as a new song. Sorry, I was aware of that. And you'll see we've got this feature here. So once you've learned how to do this in the UI, you can hide those instructions. And we also have the options to be able to um, zoom in and out down here on the timeline. And then of course, we can go back to our workspace.
So when you come into the workspace, you'll see there are three filters, and if you unhide stems and unhide clips from edit mode, uh, you'll see they all show up in your list. So you can go through and select each of those individually, and it does give you in brackets what that's made up of. They also seem to have moved where Personas is located in this UI. I think there's been some effort put in here. I will say personally, I haven't found Personas to be something that's um, incredibly useful. So we will just leave that for a future video. And yes, if you look at the menus, it is very clear what is available as part of the Pro license and uh, what isn't. I do not have one that isn't a pro license, so I would assume that possibly uh, they do not show up as options for people who are not in that scenario. But down here, we've got uh, visibility. Comments seem to be on by default. Uh, and this may be because of the format type, because if I believe if I go to a newer option, you'll see and I come down here to download, I still have the Wave Audio format. So just be aware of that. This was a version 2 song originally that I uploaded, uh, but it is an uploaded song and you may not have that option if it is just the uploaded version. So to me that looks like most of the functions that have come as part of this update. I'll keep playing with this and if there is anything interesting or something new that gets dropped I will keep making videos. If you want to have a look at what else I do, I do now have a website called Automation Manual which is automation-manual.com. Uh, have a look for these videos there and also some other videos around what I do with automation and other software tools. I hope that we get to see more features, but these seem to be the ones that most people were asking for. So I'm not sure what's left, but I'm excited to see.